Look, investing in stocks is really great fun. It's analytical, it's debatable, it's current affairs. And if done correctly, can be financially satisfying. Look, everyone is busy, so I suppose you're busy as well. And there's enough going on with individual stocks. So let's take a look at sector investing via ETFs. Quick and efficient for busy people. Let's go to the video. So the stock market is divided into 11 industrial sectors. This is to put companies together based on their underlying economic drivers. The logic is that investors will develop a better understanding of the dynamics of different industrial groupings in the economy. When investors are better formed, hopefully they can make more efficient, effective and hopefully profitable investment decisions. In the US on the NYSE, the 11 industrial groupings are energy, materials, industrials, consumer discretionary, consumer staples, healthcare, financials, information technology, communication services, utilities, and of course, real estate. So sector allocation can produce effective and efficient investing. There are two main classification systems, systems used by the investment community. They are the Global Industrial Classification Standard, GICS, and the Industrial Classification Benchmarks, ICB, on, by FTSE. In the stock market, companies are classified together into industries based on their primary business activity. Industry classification is an economic taxonomy that classifies companies into industrial groupings. In general, this is based on the dominant business by revenue in the company, but also taking into consideration is a similar style of industrial production or similar or competing products, and possibly even a similar financial structure. Industry classification can be further divided into super sectors, sectors and subsectors, and this is what the two main classification groups do. The industry classification of companies allow market participants to analyse companies operating in similar businesses. Hopefully this offers a better understanding of the competitive forces that a company is facing and then the appropriate valuation metrics can reasonably be applied. So sector rotation and allocation is based on the current phase in the economic cycle. And this is what we're going to get into a little bit later. But how can this be done? So ETFs and stocks, well, they're similar but different. So an ETF is clearly a fund and stocks is an individual company. So ETFs and stocks could be equally used for sector allocation. I would recommend ETFs if you really haven't time to get into all the analysis required for individual stocks. Certainly you're going to get a basket of stocks which are not performing, but that's the downside. Otherwise, you have to do all the work in investing in individual stocks. Let's take a look at the industrial classification. First off by industries, then it's broken down to super sectors, sectors and subsectors. Industries, there's 11, super sectors, 20. Sectors 44 and subsectors plus 150. So why is this done? What are the advantages? Well, competitive forces can be measured and comparative valuations can be made. So let's take a look at sector rotation and allocation in the five equity phases. First phase, the market bottoms out. The second phase, a new growth in equities begins. Third phase, the equity markets have now peaked. The fourth phase, the equity market enters a bear market. The fifth phase is the very late stages of a bear market. Okay, so in practical terms, what does this mean? So in the first phase, you've got a situation where the economy is declining in economic growth. The equity market has hit the bottom after a period of decline. The second phase, the economy is in a recession. That's it. The equity market has entered the new growth phase. It anticipates. The third phase, we can see the economy is in a recovery phase whilst the equity market has peaked. In the fourth phase, the economy is in a growth phase, while the equity market has peaked and is entering a bear market. The fifth phase is where the economy is declining in economic growth. The equity market is in the late stages of a bear market. Remember this in investing. The equity market leads earnings and the earnings leads the economy. Here we are inside of ETF's market overview, inside a bar chart, and this is an extremely powerful tool. So here we are with the S&P 500, SPDR, the NASDAQ QQQ, also fixed income, and also gold and various other commodities can be seen here with emerging markets as well. So let's extend that view out, and we can see here that there's ETFs from all the way around the world, not only the major US indexes, but also Australia, Asia Pacific. You can invest researching via bar chart. 
So how do we go through this? The ETF finder, we can look by index, geography, industry sector, size, growth, value, speciality, or strategy. So let's take a look at sector industry. So what are we going to do? We're going to, we've got all the different sectors here to look at. Energy, materials, industrials, consumer discretionary, consumer staples, healthcare, financials, real estate, IT, communication services, and utilities, and multi-sector. So let's, talk, let, let's take a quick look at the IT sector. Also, you can create your various views inside a bar chart. This is done on the one month percentage change. So we can see the one month percentage change. Also moving on to the top 100 ETFs. Again, looking at our main view, so we can get the idea of the change. Here we are with all the different indexes which have performed well. We can look at the ETFs of one month highs and also one month lows. And the top dividend stocks, again with the main view, specifically for dividends. So there's the list of dividend ETFs with a dividend, dividend yield. And finally, there is the ETF screener, which we can use inside a bar chart. I'm a member of the Bar Chart Affiliate Program, and if you'd like to subscribe to Bar Chart, please use the QR code on the screen now or the link below in the description. It really does help the channel. Okay, so that's it for this video. Look, I've been off YouTube for a little while. I've been developing a couple of things. My blog site, so www.smartest-day.blog. You'll see the link, the QR code on the screen. And also, I've issued my first course in www.smartest-data.courses and the QR code is also on the screen. I've also developed a network of affiliate programs. So there's two in, in databases. The first one is FinScreener, the second one is Bar chart. I use bar chart for this video, but it both are equally as good. And also three broking sites. So the first one is eToro, then FX Primus, and First Trade. The links are in the video below. Check them out. If you went through and opened the account, that would really, really help the channel. So listen, see you in the next video.